everybody and welcome back to my channel today is my first video of this year and i'm so grateful for it uh, i was having a little bit of a hard time making the decision if i wanted to film or not i really wanted but i couldn't like make the decision of what i really wanted to film so i thought it could be a good idea just to film with the stuff that is like comfort food but in makeup the items or the products that I know that is so effortless that I know that I'm going to have the result that I really want to get which is kind of an easy soft nice look so yeah that's what I'm going to do today so for starts I have already done my morning routine so now we're gonna go for the makeup I'm gonna start with my always trusty Bobbi Brown vitamin and rich face base and I'm gonna rub this in my entire complexion. Uh, I always make sure to do it in an upward motion, trying to do everything that I can to not help getting more wrinkles. For base products, I'm gonna use my Shiseido Self Refreshing. Yeah, Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I'm in the shade. 230 Adler and I'm going to combine it with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 1 Custard. I'm not one for full coverage foundation so I just use a pump and I'm pretty sure that I won't need the entire pump but I dispense it and I'm dotting it in my entire complexion. Sorry for the background noise, but my neighbors decided to do something in the backyard. So yeah, you're gonna hear that as a background noise. And also this is another brush that I feel confident. I always gravitate towards it. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. I think this is the second launch that they, no, second, the third launch that she did for brushes. Supposedly, this is the one used for bronzer. I use it for almost anything complexion related. And yeah, I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially for foundation. Now I'm going to go for the concealer and let me see which is the brush that I usually use for this. I think that, yeah, the Sephora 57 brush, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And I just grab a little bit of this. I coat all the bristles, but then on the back of my hand, I take away the excess. And what I have left over in my brush is what I'm going to use in my under eye. My problematic area is really near this crevice here to the bridge of my nose. The rest of my under eye is really, I don't know, I don't have a problem with it. And just a little bit here in the ending part. Yes, I have a texture under eye, but as in um, trying to even it, the darkness in it is just in the inner part of it. So, yeah, I'm going to just use this one. And the way that I do it is just like stamping motions. Just to get a little bit more coverage from the sheerness that I usually go for. That is plenty. I'm gonna make sure to really buff the foundation because I didn't check it. And when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I have a couple of places that I could have done a better job of it. Yeah, so, so far, yeah, so good. And my neighbors are really getting into it. See this? really nice luminosity that I have in my skin but the finish of this um, foundation it is it is a natural one two things that I really like how my under eye looks when I sit with them it is the Jeffree Star's um, setting powder because it doesn't say anything in the back Oop. but this is the Jeffree Star setting powder I think this is the light shade and the other one, it is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is an awesome powder. And this one as well. But today I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use both. 
but in my under eye, I'm going to start with this one and then to set the, my entire complexion as soon as I finish the rest of my complexion stuff, I'm going to buff with that one. I gravitate towards the Real Techniques. This is the setting brush. I shouldn't have any creasing because I apply minimum amount of concealer in my under eye. I'm just going to press this in my under eye. I'm going a little bit lower, but making sure that everywhere where I apply my concealer, it is set. For the rest of my complexion stuff, I have these two other products. I love this bronzer from Wayne Goss and this one. This one, I love the shade and I love the, um, the formula of the bronzer because it's smooth. It doesn't claim to be smoothing or pore blurring, but it does in my skin. And that's why I like it a lot. And also this one, it is so much about the formula. It is about the colors and how it looks on the skin. These are the shades that I love in a blush. And also, I don't mind a matte blush, but I like the, the, that it has a little bit of sheen in the finish of them. This is the bronzer towards a little bit of a contour shade. And in upward circular motion, so I'm gonna start on top of my cheekbone. Here, see? And from there, I'm going to work it towards my nose in upwards motion because I have a triangular shape face and I don't want to elongate it more than she already appears to be. So that's why I use this method of application. A little bit of my chin the sides of my forehead because now I'm using my hair through the middle and the sides of my nose. I don't, con I don't literally contour, but at least I give something, something to the sides of my nose. I don't have a blush brush in particular that I like. I just, um, I'm going to go to the shade in the middle named Paraiso. For my blush, I always apply it in the back of my cheekbones I like to do it in a lifting matter just to help my face shape and also I'm not 20 so I have to give myself all the help that I can get the only thing missing for my complexion it is my setting setting the rest of my complexion and my finishing powder for setting the rest of my complexion, as I said previously, I'm gonna go for the NARS um, Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is in the shade Crystal, and I, this is one of my favorite brushes for powder. This is the Arlen Moda Studio in whatever number it is, because it doesn't have a number, but this is kind of the shape of it. And I just lightly brush it through my entire complexion and last but not least my let's just say yeah a buffing powder which it isn't but i like it for that i like this armani beauty this is the luminous silk glow fusion powder in the shade four you can use this to set your entire complexion or you can use it as i do just to give a yeah to buff I use the same brush if I'm not gonna do anything else with it. It has a little bit of color. So lightly, very lightly, I go through the perimeter of my face, giving a little bit of more intention to my cheekbones, my nose, and the top of my eyebrows. And to set my entire complexion, I don't have a favorite setting spray or setting mist or setting something. I really like something that is going to hydrate my entire complexion. So usually I go for mist. So, and this one smells so, so good. This is the Manakadar Skincare. This is the Hydrating Face Mist. Eyeshadow primer that I use is the one from Milani. So I'm not going to disappoint. I'm gonna use that one. Just a little bit of it. 
and that's plenty. And I'm gonna use the bronzer shade that I in my face to give a little bit of the dimension to my eye. I have downturn eyes. I shouldn't use my crease or my natural crease to shape my eye because I'm gonna drop them more than what they are naturally. Also, I take advantage of this to give a little bit of a lift to my eye. See, something really smooth, simple, but look the difference between one eye and the other. I'm gonna pinch my brush and I'm going to lightly dust this in my bottom lashes. Now that we have the cover, I'm gonna go for a liquid shadow. This is the one from Elia. This is named um, Liquid Powder in the Chromatic Eye Tint. And this is in the shade Hatch. And I'm going to apply it directly to my lead. And since this is a liquid one, I'm going to use a little bit more dense, not so soft brush to just buff the edges of it. The eye look is almost done. I'm only missing liner. And for liner, I have kind of a, yeah, a favorite one. I have a favorite line from... The drugstore, which is the Milani's, they put um, eyeliners. I think it is the name, if I'm not mistaken. And for high-end, it is the Marc Jacobs. I'm going to use uh, the brown one. And this is in the shade Blacker Copy. And being a broken record, I have downturn eyes. So I have to look straight and a little bit higher to do, a, to do my liner. And I shouldn't do it with my eyes closed. Liner is done, and now I think I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use a mix. What I have left over in this brush, I'm going to apply it a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. There, the same thing in the other, and I'm gonna use another shade that I love from Marc Jacob, which is a blue one, a really dark blue one. This is the shade Overnight. And I'm going to use this in my waterline. If you have a powder puff, use that instead of using your finger. You can do this without the liner, but I wanted to do something, something. I like, I really like to do some kind of a color in my waterline. So you can skip the liner. Do the mascara and apply a little bit of something in your waterline and you will be good to go. So let me just do that and then we're going to come back for lips. So lashes are done and always as soon as I finish up my eyes, then if when I go for my eyebrow gel, I'm using the Anastasia one because it is clear. It doesn't add up any more color. For lips, usually I don't do your lips because we are wearing mask and it is kind of a mess in that particular area. Also, I always have my lip chaps and I really would like to use a matte one, but it doesn't look good on myself. So I have to go for glossy or a little more creamy thing. But what I really do like, it is this. This is the Makeup Forever Artistry Color Pencil and my favorite one. It is the Endless Cacao. I love this shade. So I either line my lips first or later. But this is what I do. I don't overdraw my lips. I darken them in the corners. Lip oil from Colourpop. Because I really need the help. With the doe foot applicator, I try to like blend a little bit what I did 
with the pencil. So this is the entire look. I could use a little bit of more blush, but I really, really like my skin how it is so far. And yeah, this is it. I really like how my complexion looks. I hope you like this video, sweets, and if you did, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really much appreciate it. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notification bell. Also, I wish you the best year that you can actually hope for. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. And do good to people. Have a great week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.